made it home, I dug her out, then I made her one of my aces. Marijuana fragrance, this tree here is outrageous. Want me to play in your city, send an email to my agent. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we have the start of a new series on my channel. Episode 1 of the Tim Tebow Heisman Challenge on NCAA Football 14. And I will explain in just a moment why I want to do this series. But first off, we are going through the Heisman Challenge, uh, I guess, players that we can choose. And I decided to go with Tim Tebow. I'll talk about why I wanted Tim Tebow in just a bit uh, as well. But either way, we're going to put him on Georgia Tech. Why Georgia Tech? They're an option team. I think this is going to be fun. I kind of want to get better at the option, the zone read. All that stuff. I guess if I wanted to get better at the zone read, I should have gone Oregon. But I figured the triple option would be kind of fun. Georgia Tech's really the only kind of big... Co it's the, They're the only BCS conference team that runs the triple option. So anyway, we're getting into week one. And you can see what Tim Tebow did in week one in real life of his 2007 uh, Heisman Trophy season. He went 13-17 to for 300 yards and had four total scores. And you can see we're just playing, you know, FCS East. This is going to be a blowout. Spoiler. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, so... Why I wanted to do the Heisman Challenge? Well, most of you guys know my only series on NCAA that was planned was the um, NCAA 14 Dynasty with Burns. But we got to wait like a week or two possibly for the OS rosters. So, you know, that's going to take a little bit. And I want to get you guys some NCAA content. So I figured I'll do a quick little Heisman Challenge. Why not? The, the, this game mode is still in this NCAA 14. They didn't take it out. It's kind of hidden. It's under Road to Glory now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun. They have uh, 15 of the 16 guys back from last year. They just took out RG3. I don't really know why, but it's whatever. Not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I figured I would do this in the meantime, and I'll continue this uh, throughout, you know, even if the Dynasty starts, and I'm not done with this yet. I still want to finish this. This is only going to be, what, 12 games plus maybe a bowl game, so like 13 episodes. So not going to be a very long series, but I figured it's a way for me to get you guys NCAA content. Way for me to talk about some college football. Way for me to get better at editing some of these NCAA videos. And why just Tim Tebow? Um, Tim Tebow, as most of you guys know, uh, signed with the Patriots recently. Probably, probably about a month ago now. And uh, I don't know. I had never been a big fan of Tim Tebow, but I know he's kind of popular uh, around the NFL. I don't think he's that good, but I figured. Uh, I don't know. Quarterback's kind of fun. I didn't really want to do Charlie Ward or Andre Ware. I could have done Carson Palmer or Matt Liner. Those are my two USC boys. But uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a big USC fan. That's basically my college team uh, that I root for. But uh, I don't know. I just decided to go with Tebow. I, I tweeted out. I was tweeting earlier. I was like, uh, you know, give me ideas for a player in college. And so I think I got two guys who suggested uh, Tim Tebow to BC. And I think um, they probably just assumed BC was my favorite college. I, I really I don't follow BC football too much. They, they always suck, and they're going to suck for a while, too, because, God, man, ever since uh, Spagnuolo, not Spagnuolo, ever since the what's-his-face left after after Ryan, after Matt Ryan graduated and then that coach left, I forget what his name is, but Spaziani, I think. Or maybe Spaziani was a replacement. I can't remember. Either way, ever since he left, the program has been the shitter, so... Anyway, that's why I really don't follow BC football, because it's not interesting. <laughs> but uh, either way, so 14 nothing, George Tech on top, Tebow going to work. Really nothing much to say about the gameplay. Um, we didn't run as many triple option plays as I want. I do get 20 um, like twenty opportunities to change the play from like what they're calling to two other options, uh, two other options for plays. So, uh, you know, I tried to run some more options than they called, but still a lot of pass plays. And uh, we're really taking advantage of this FCS East opponent uh, thing. You know, their team. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. It's 2 in the morning. Either way, uh, I'm playing on All-American difficulty. I might bump it up to Heisman later. But I, this was the first thing I did when I played the game. Actually, that's a lie. I played half of a game of Georgia State versus New Mexico. And then I got bored. And then I decided, all right, what can I make for content in the meantime before this dynasty gets underway? Looked under the menus, found Heisman Challenge. This is what I decided to do. Uh, I decided to play on All-American because I just got the game. This was the first full game that I played. And um, I decided that I'm not good enough at this game to play on Heisman yet, so sue me. Either way, 21 nothing. Georgia, Georgia Tech, going to work. Um, I would love to make a BCS bowl game with this team. I don't think we'll make a national championship, but the ACC is not the best conference in the world, so maybe we can uh, make a run through it. We'll see what happens. We're going to have some tough opponents uh, along the way, but I think we could make a title run. I mean, there's no definite great team in the ACC, so um, you know, I think we have a chance. Either way, beating up on this FCS team, too easy. 
the real life opponent for Georgia Tech in this week would be uh, Elon or Elon. I think it's Elon, but I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, and that's the way you see their logo on the thumbnail. I decided I'd put the uh, opposing team's logo in the thumbnail as well as Georgia Tech's logo. But um, yeah, I, obviously, if you guys don't know, FCS teams are never in NCAA. They used to be, but uh, they just stopped putting them in for some reason. I guess it took too much time. I don't know. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Uh, so you always just get these FCS East, FCS Southeast, teams like that, and they amped up the uniforms on these guys uh, this year. I, I don't know why, but uh, it was one, one thing NCAA did was they uh, they upgraded the uniforms for the FCS teams, which I guess is kind of cool, you know, freshen things up, why not? Georgia Tech has a couple cool uniforms, I think they have six total, uh, they have four alternates in the home and the way. Uh, but they're one of those teams that wears their white jerseys at home, kind of like the Dallas Cowboys in real life. In the not, what am I talking? Real life in the NFL, I should say. As we fumbled the ball there, that was completely my fault. Luckily, we recovered it, and uh, we only ended up losing 19 yards in the play. But uh, either way, we would end up uh, not be able to convert that third and 29. So uh, I'll probably be switching up the uniforms a lot. They have I kind of like these navy blue tops. Uh, I used. An image, a uh, still shot of Tebow in this uniform for the thumbnail. Let me know what you guys think of the thumbnail. I, I like the thumbnail that I made. Uh, it's not my favorite in the world. My favorite thumbnail that I've probably ever made was the Red Sox Fantasy Draft one. I love that thumbnail. I don't know why, but this is a good one. I think I like this. I really wanted to get a picture of Tebow, uh, you know, Tebow. I thought that'd be funny. I completely forgot that they uh, they have him Tebow in the game when he makes uh, like a touch, when he runs for a touch. He doesn't always do it, but. I'm sure he does it like once a game, and I'm sure they have like Desmond Howard's Heisman pose and stuff. So anyway, going deep here, we complete that one. I think that's Lance Walker. I mean, I don't know the real names of these players. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe I think for next commentary I'll write them down on a cheat sheet or something so I can like know all these players. But yep, we complete that one to quote unquote Lance Walker, and then um, running the ball a little bit here. I'm scrambling at least, and I have a tendency to do this way too much. I don't step up in the pocket. I fall back is one of my terrible things about football games. Is I always do that. It's not, I mean, not terrible things about football games, but the terrible things the way I play these games. So I always do that instead, and it's terrible, and it's stupid, and I know I get handed on every single damn video. So um, I got to work on that. That's one of the things I definitely got to work on as we get towards the Dynasty. 38 to 6 here. Third and 23. We actually complete that one with a 26-yard reception over the middle to our running back, whose auto-generated name is Riley Love. Pretty solid name. And then here we're running the option a little bit. I started using the reaction time for the option a lot this game. I'm not the best at the option. Um, when you run the triple option, you have to look at a couple different things. Um, you have to look at where the defensive end is coming so you know whether to hand it off to the fullback or not. And then let's say you hold on to it, then you got to look at where like the next linebacker is to know whether they're pitching or not. So I've been using the reaction time. I want to get better at it. I know it's going to be something that I definitely want to use in the Dynasty because I think the option game, the way they do it in NCAA is so cool. So I definitely want to use that, and I definitely want to get better at it. So using the reaction time is one way to do that, and doing this Heisman Challenge is another way to do that. So anyway, 45-6 to for completely blowing out Georgia Tech. I'm trying to pad my stats here a little bit because I know uh, to like win the challenge or whatever, you do have to end up... Um, you know, getting the uh, getting the Heisman, and you want to try and match the stats or whatever. So I uh, obviously start to suck here a little bit. I think I just threw an interception. I can't really tell my video preview is really laggy right now, but either way, we complete that pass right there. We almost have 500 yards on the day. We get a first and 10 here, and uh, we snap the ball and end up pitching this one off to Radley Love, our halfback, who's very good, and he's a good pass catcher too, which is nice because I like halfbacks who so can catch the ball, uh, kind of like a Maurice Jones too. And yeah. anyway, yeah, second and three, and we end up pitching that one off to Riley Love once again. He hits the first down, and that's pretty much it for the ball game. I think we're going to try and rush to the line, get one more playoff. I called for like a deep pass because I was like, I want one more damn touchdown. I want 500 completion yards, passing yards, just to say. And we're not going to get the snap up in time. So, oh, well, it's going to wrap up this gameplay. We end up winning the game 45 to 13. Let me know what you think of this game. I haven't played enough to really make an opinion on it, so maybe I'll talk about my thoughts on it in the next episode. I'll try to post this maybe every other day. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, you know, pretty. I'll probably just end up falling into the rotation of this and the association of the franchise. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. We end up taking this ball game home, 45 to 13, kicking FCS East's uh, behind their their butt oxes. We get player of the game, 19 to 25, 495 yards and 46 rushing yards. That would have been higher if I didn't sack for minus 29 yards like three times in this game. But either way, not a big deal. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Either way, we win this game. Nothing much else to say, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Like I said, let me know what you think of this game. 
Let me know if you're excited for the series. Let me know if you're excited for the dynasty. I know I am. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. This was some out. Peace.